What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to some bio ink redemption. I am here to inform you that I actually think this game is dead. Now ever since coming out and introducing the sandbox mode in the last couple of missions, I honestly have not seen any sort of updates or anything and I don't know, it, it, it seems to me personally that this game is dead. I don't know if that's actually true or... I don't know, it's, it's weird. It really is weird. So... I was trying to connect to a multiplayer game like I don't know, 10 minutes ago and well 10 minutes later there was still no multiplayer game and I mean that has been the case for quite a while. I've started the game every now and then to see if I can find a multiplayer round and I just couldn't. And that has actually even been the case when I did upload multiplayer sessions that was only possible because I was playing with a friend or a fellow viewer actually. Someone who has contacted me after viewing my guide videos. And yeah, and we could play and I think that's the only chance to really record multiplayer videos is to play with friends or you know people you add specifically for that reason. Because the matchmaking is a total joke. I mean well, the matchmaking per se probably isn't a joke, but nobody is playing. So, so, I mean, there's nothing the matchmaking can do, it's just... There's no players, you can't play. So... That is a bit of a disappointment, to be honest with you. And... Uh, another thing I, I wanted to talk about is, why has this game not aged like the game it is often compared to, which is Plague Inc. And Plague Inc. has aged very well. Now, for one, it has gotten consistent updates for years, which this game is apparently lacking. I don't know if they abandoned it, or it's dead now, or whatever. But they seem to have abandoned it, from what I can tell. So, I don't know. I don't know what, what happened, I don't know what they did, or... Five points, sorry. Um, it is a joke. I mean, you can't find multiplayer rounds, which you actually can in Play Inc. I think it's a more popular game. And I think one of the biggest reasons why it's less popular is the sandbox mode is total crap. There's no reason to play the sandbox mode. There's nothing really interesting you can do with it. It's a total joke. And really with Play Gang you have almost custom scenarios and they're fun and they're innovative and creative, but you can't do that with the sandbox mode. I'm sorry for repeating myself, but it is an utter joke. It really is. It's a total joke. And I'm sorry for being that harsh because, I mean, I did like this game, I did like playing it. And it was fun while it lasted, but I think beyond the missions there really isn't much point to playing it. The multiplayer is a little bit unbalanced, I would say. I do think it's a little bit unbalanced. I think it's a lot harder to win a staff. Obviously you can if you're by far the better player know what you're doing, but I think it is a little bit unbalanced. Wait, what, what, what do we have? Renal and muscular. Jeez, I haven't gone, gone for muscular in ages. So, I honestly think the game is kind of dead to be honest. So I wanted to keep creating content for it. It has been kind of the most 
Let me harvest this. It has somewhat been the most viewed videos last year. Yeah, that's great. Boring. Safe sex. Pff. Healthy sex. Pff. Whatever. Um, yeah, well, I did want to, to create more content, but it just wasn't in, on the cards. I mean, can only do so much when nobody is playing. And there's only so many viewer challenges one can do that are realistic. There's only so much interesting stuff. I mean, there are a few easter eggs here and there with the characters. And the suicide was... I don't want to call it funny because, you know, suicide isn't particularly funny, but in the context of the game it was kind of entertaining. And... I don't know. I feel like we've exhausted the game and what it brings to the table. I, I honestly think that we did everything we can and everything that the game has to offer. I think we've explored everything. And I don't know, I'm fairly certain we've done all that it has. I mean, feel free to post ideas of what we can do, but don't tell me... Or if you have any specific scenarios that you can set up in the sandbox mode, please feel free to share them. Because I've tried some stuff and it is it doesn't hold a candle to, to the real missions that are done. And I don't see much of a reason to play it or to play the sandbox mode. Really don't see the point. So it's a bit of a shame because I actually enjoyed playing this. And maybe I would even still enjoy playing it if there was some actual content to play. Like well the custom scenarios. I know I haven't done Play Gink in a while and I don't know if the interest is there in that game and maybe I Still would do that, I don't know yet. But... I don't know, it's... It's tough to, to really call this game more than a 10 to 15 hour thing, where you just go through the missions. I don't think it's very much more, I don't think it has much beyond that. So, but then again, it, there is no reason I should have expected much more. Um, the only reason why I did was the success that Plague Inc. has over the years. And I thought, well, maybe this turns out similarly. It has not. From what I can tell so far, it has not. Maybe it turns out that... I'm wrong and they release a couple ton of new content and make the sandbox mode fun or maybe I'm just not creative enough. If I had to create a custom scenario for plaguing it wouldn't be very good anyway so maybe I'm just not creative enough. Maybe you post ideas and I'm having fun playing this again so it's possible but I do think that beyond the missions there's not much reason to play this. Even the multiplayer isn't very fun. Now, there could be two reasons for it. First reason being I just suck, which is totally possible. And the second reason being, well, it truly isn't very fun. I think that is a, a real possibility. I find it a little bit sad because we did have a good time, but it is what it is. I mean, it's a game. It's nothing more, nothing less. And there are plenty other games out there. And also, if you like to watch other games, please feel free to let me know. I'm not saying I will play them, but I'm saying I would give them a look, see if I might like them, and. 
I would consider it. I mean, there are no guarantees that I would play any of them, but again, I would consider it. And I think a consideration is worth something. So, just post whatever you feel comfortable with. Or whatever you, you would like to see, and you'd like to see me play, or whatever. Yeah, he's almost dead. Oh, finally an upgrade. Ten point? Did that get more expensive? I mean, we could just wait for him to die. You know what the last one was, circulatory. Oh, whatever. This is the one I usually like to kill first, so I want to take a little bit of a different route, especially since we're playing one difficulty lower, as I was talking about something else. But, yeah. Bit disappointed. Maybe you suggest some fun game that will bring the fun back, you know? Oh, that's already it. So. Share your thoughts. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, I don't know. That's just my opinion. And I hope you enjoyed the little gameplay in the back, and maybe you have some fun ideas, I don't know. Let me know, and until next time, farewell. <laughs>